Alright YouTubers, what is happening? We got a new knife video for you today. Looking at the Fox Knives Core. Now I did the poll. This was one of the most popular knives. This one and um, I did this one on Instagram. This one and the Browse um, Silent Soldier Import, which I haven't got my hands on one of those yet, but I plan to eventually. So, got a good deal on this one, so I wanted to go ahead and run with the, the Core and got it around the same time I got the Orso. So, Let's go ahead and just talk about basic specs real quick, then we'll get into my impressions and thoughts of the knives. So your overall length is seven and a half inches, blade length of three inches, cutting edge of 2.8, so that would be legal in quite a few places. Your width is 1.25 inches, it's a pretty wide blade. Um, thickness is 0.16. You're uh, looking at N6, Bowler N690, uh, drop point blade with a flat grind, stone wash finish, um, handle length is four and a half inches. The width of the handle is 1.375, which is pretty wide. It's pretty thick at over a half inch, 0.57. It is made of an FRN material, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Uh, this one has black. They come in uh, blue and OD green, I believe, and an all black one that looks pretty slick. And you have a stainless steel liners on this one, weighing in at 4.75 ounces. It does have a nice tip up right hand or left hand carry pocket clip. Okay, so. Basic specs there. Now, this is a, a, a Jesper Voxnay's um, design, and it definitely has a Vox style to it, no doubt about it. He likes these big, wide blades with these, you know, kind of oval holes in them. Um, a lot of belly, wider, you know, not necessarily longer, and not as sleek. Uh, kind of his style. And this core is definitely, um, definitely a Vox knife, there's no doubt about it. Let's talk about the FRN real quick since we talked about this. This is actually really cool. It's kind of kind of cryptic um, type uh, pattern on it. I think that is really neat. When I first saw it, I really liked it. And I saw it as FRN and I was kind of disappointed. But i got to be honest with you, it's really nice FRN. Probably some of the best that I've felt on a knife. It does have a... Uh, F this is actually, I feel like, aluminum though. It's not... If that's FRN. It's really... Um, it's really kind of... I don't know, it feels like metal more than it does this FRM plastic. So I think this may be an aluminum backspacer. That I'm not 100% sure on. But other than that, um, let's talk about, so the FRN is nice. I like that. It has a nice, I like the wire clip quite a bit. Has a stainless steel liner lock and very smooth on bearings. Very, very smooth. You can middle finger flick it. You can use the thumb hole. And you can use the flipper. The deployment methods are awesome and they work well and the detent is dialed in. Action is fantastic on this guy. Ergonomically, um, it's it's a it's definitely comfortable in the hand, but it's very wide. And it reminds me of a lion steel. Lion steels tend to be really wide in the handle. And you know, when I just said that measurement at one point, I think it was 1.375 what wide, it's a pretty wide knife, and you can definitely feel it. If you had Larger hands, you would not feel this much, but medium to small hands, it may, it may be too wide. Um, let's do some comparisons. So, for example, the Orso, which is very slim and has more blade length. And, yeah, we're not going to compare these two. They're not really in the same price range. But thick handle versus thin handle. Um, I don't really have a lot of knives like this. The ZT-0900 is kind of a beefier, stockier knife. Quite a bit smaller still, and not nearly that wide in the handle. The uh, Kershaw Natrix. You can see how much thinner this. Is. Actually, you can't see the depth on the camera, but size-wise, uh, these are good for size comparisons as well. It's a little bit shorter in the handle, but quite a bit. I mean, quite a bit wider. And the next one I'm going to do is probably the closest is the Paramilitary, or excuse me, the Para Three. And it's a very similar size knife, blade length and everything, and handle length, but width-wise, it's quite a bit. Maybe if we do it like this, it would be better. You can see a little bit. Let me back that out. Titch, there we go. You can see just how much wider it is in the handle, which um, is, you know, can be a deal breaker for some people. So just wanted to bring it up in the in the video because the pair of three is one point, just over an inch wide. Right, this is again 1. 1. 1.3 inches wide as far as this width is concerned. Now thickness 
you can see here the pair of three and the and these are actually pretty comparable knives in a lot of ways in pricing and everything the pair of three is quite a bit slimmer this way too and not as nearly as tall as you can see well you can't probably see you, as you can see but you can't because you don't have the perception that i do but either way wide handle uh, very let's talk about fit and finish before i get into positives and negatives of the knife very very good um i've only had a few fox knives in my day and but I, they typically fall within the same realm as viper to me where they can be good or they can be hit and miss and this one is exceptionally good um and i've heard that about all the different cores out there that i've on some other reviews as well as some other people that on instagram have had them is that they're really well made and i they are they are very solid they have great action no play no deep temp play no no nothing just very good flippers and feels very solid nice fit and finish came perfectly centered the grinds were nice the bevels were even all kinds of things i mean going for it so good fit and finish for the hundred and what twenty dollar price chain 100, 120 bucks price tag the orso by viper that i did a quick impression video on was you know similar in the same country similar designers danish designers and the fit and finish on this one's not as, as good as this which is surprising Mainly just because it has, if you guys can hear that, if I did an Instagram video, it's got a lot of detent play. That I'm actually going to be sending that knife back. This one is, a lot, is made a lot better and a lot more solid. So the fit and finish is great. The um, N690 is not a bad steal at all. You know, it's in this price point, 120 you know, you might find S30, you might find, yeah, you would find S30 like on a pair of three. I would rather have S30, but N690 is not bad. Um, it's very, very stainless still, so it won't rust or anything. But, um, you know, price point wise, I think it's fair. It's not bad, especially because it's, it's got a nice fit and finish. Now, let's get into the, what I, you know, I like the stone wash finish on the blade. I love the deployment. It is very smooth. Any way you do it, the D10 is dialed in for multiple methods of opening. That's not usually easy to do. I think it's a good looking knife. I like this cryptic uh, pattern on the on the uh, FRN. I like that it's a little different. But uh, for me, what this knife doesn't really do, doesn't work well for me, it's just kind of how beefy it is. It's it's a small knife, but it's big. It's kind of weird. Like you think, you know, you want a big, a small knife to be, or a bigger, beefier knife to just have a little bit more blade length. I mean, you're barely at three inches or under three inches of cutting edge. And it's just a wide in the handle and a little wide in the body for me. Um, mo I can deal with the thickness this way because it's not, it's like 0.57. But it's the it's the width this way that kind of, it's it's comfortable if you grip it like, like this. It's very comfortable, but I don't usually grip my knives like that unless I'm, I guess if you're doing a lot of outdoor work, then that would work well. But typically I'm more in, in this kind of grip. And this kind of grip, it's too wide in the handle. And um, the this heel kind of present, prevents a, or presents a little bit of a hot spot. Not bad, but... So I don't like how wide it is. I also feel like it's pretty heavy for its size. It's not a very... I mean, you're a three-inch knife. Three-inch blade, right? So like the pair of three. Three-inch blade. Weight-wise. Let's just do comp some comparisons. And we're not talking like a stainless steel frame lock or anything here either. Oh, fluid ounces. There we go. So this one guy weighs in at 4.75 ounces, 4.7 on this scale, but it'll get 4.75. The pair of three, 3.3, 3.4. Much lighter. A whole ounce, 1.3 ounces lighter, same blade length. The Natrix here has a longer blade, and it weighs 2.8 ounces, 2. Point, okay, 2.9 on this. Quite a bit lighter, has more blade. The Orso much longer blade more handle weighs in at three ounces now frn is not a heavy material okay this has a stainless steel liner lock this has a stainless steel liner lock with carbon fiber which is going to be but typically frn is as light as carbon fiber or lighter um thinking like spider coat delica those kind of knives very lightweight but nice this one even has a light heavier material in g10 and it's quite a bit lighter so i don't know where all the weight is i believe it's in the thickness of the blade the width and the thickness and the stock the liners are skeletonized which is actually surprising because of the weight of the knife 
So I'm not I'm not sure why. I think it's just because it's got a wide handle. Maybe this type of FRN is not very lightweight. I don't know. It, it feels nice. I like the texture and stuff. But it's just a, kind of a chunky, heavy, over... It's kind of like a fat knife. Like, needs to go on a diet kind of thing. So, um, for me, it's not going to earn a place in my EDC simply because it's just not my style. Now, if you like beefy folders, if that's your thing, pick this guy up because it's very well made. It's comfortable. You know, if you had large hands, it'd be good. It's pretty overall got good ergonomics. I mean, it's got a nice handle. Like I said, a little thinner on mine, and I'd like it a lot more. Um, that is not a forward choil, but that's a sharpened choil, so don't put your finger up there. But um, I like the action. The, the I like the style. You know, I don't mind the, the wide blade um, that much either. But, you know, it's just a beefy, out. you know, he designed it to be like an all-around outdoor and EDC type knife, which it could do. But you're, you're getting a wide, and the way it carries in the pocket is another thing for me after carrying it and such. So it, it's nice that it's deep carry, right? But it's wide, so it's taking up, let's just poke it up that much, like, of your pocket. So when you have things in there with it, it's kind of difficult. Whereas if you went with like a slim knife like the Orso, that nah, doesn't carry as deep, but it's a lot less. I mean, it's much narrower in the pocket. So it's going to carry wide in the pocket as well. That is one negative of the pair of three is, you know, I have that, that deep carry clip. It, it carries wide right here because of the hump of the, of the spidey hole. But Either way, that's another kind of nit. I mean, these are nitpicking things because you know, it's just my opinion on this. And it's overall a great knife. It's well made. It's definitely worth the price tag. I love Vox designs, but for me, this one's just it's just a little too chunky, a little too, a little too fat. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video on the Fox Core. Any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you on the next one.